Today we're going to talk about planting bamboo next to your pond. Today I want to talk about planting bamboo next to your pond because I read once in a, in a pond book, I don't remember the exact name of the book, but I remember reading this book and uh, it said, if you're looking for a pond contractor that wants to put bamboo next to your pond, immediately find a new pond contractor. And I was reading through this book and I was like, what? And I closed the book and I threw it down and I never went back to that book because it was so annoying to me. And it was so one-sided because I believe planting bamboo responsibly can be a wonderful addition next to a pond. I do personally love putting bamboo by ponds when it makes sense. Are there some dangers to planting bamboo next to your pond? Absolutely. But if we go through some precautions, and I'll talk to you about those today, a bamboo can make a wonderful, wonderful addition to the pond. First of all, you have that architectural look like you see back here on the wall. You have this, these bamboo canes shooting up the combs, just like give a really architectural look. If you're planting um, a, a clumping bamboo, then the, most of the, most of the the greenery at the, at the bottom, the leaves and stuff, they'll get stripped out naturally. If you're planting a running bamboo, those are the really dangerous ones. A running bamboo will have greenery all the way down, which I don't, I'm not showing you right here, but I, I'll have another example for you in just a second. Uh, if you're planting these, these are two very different bamboos, the clumping and the running bamboo. The clumpers, you don't have to worry about them as much because they're not going to take over the world. Uh, they put up these nice big beautiful canes. The runners are the ones that send out roots and start popping up in your lawn and they can put a hole in your liner. But now I said planting them responsibly is the key. If you use a rhizome barrier, which is a, a 24 inch or a 36 inch uh, thin plastic but it's very durable and strong if you put that between the bamboo and the pond then you're giving that protective layer it's a very thick durable durable plastic and then you can put it between between the pond and the bamboo now one thing you need to do is you need to go down deep enough and you stick that that barrier a couple inches above the grade so that way when the runner hits sometimes it wants to jump over so if, if that if the grade is here and your barrier is like this when the, when the runner hits this, it'll come up like this, and then you can just cut it and trim it off, and you can manicure it and manage it, and it's not going to get to the pond liner. Without using that, it could be very dangerous. And I'll tell you, I have, I have gone into ponds where there was bamboo planted irresponsibly, and it was bad for the pond. And, you know, if, if the pond contractor knew better, then we wouldn't have had a problem. So that's why I want to share it with you today. It's really important. This is a beautiful ornamental bamboo. And... Bamboo is a, is a type of grass. Even the tall, large bamboos you see, it's a, it's a type of grass. This is a small ornamental bamboo, and it doesn't get much taller than, I think, 18 inches at the most. And this is a runner, and you can see right here, see this runner coming out the bottom? This is potential damage to the liner. So it'll send off the runner, and it can come right through the liner and, and cause damage. So we've gone through uh, many times where we've seen this, and we've remove section of bamboo, put in the rhizome barrier, protected the liner, and then, you know, we had good results. But the sound of the bamboo rustling in the wind next to the pond is beautiful. It's hard to match. The architectural look behind the, the pond is really hard to match. It's super, super beautiful. So I really encourage you to, to put bamboo next to a pond when it makes sense. A real small pond with really tall bamboo, I don't know, it doesn't really make a good scale so you want to work on the design aspect of it as well before I leave today I want to ask you uh, I want to teach you something I don't know if this is 100 percent accurate but every time I've tested it in the field and seen it at bamboo places I found this to be true if you have this comb right here this is a clumper and if you run your hand around it it's completely smooth all the way around that is a clumping bamboo so just by touching that you can tell whether it's a clumper or not. This is a running bamboo, and if you feel the around the edges of it, this one feels completely smooth, this one can, feels completely smooth, but right here, I feel this little rib right there. When you have that rib, that means it's a runner. And it's not gonna be on every little piece, but if you inspect every one and feel them throughout, you'll find if there's a little rib like that, that means it's running bamboo and you need to take extra precautions to make sure you have that rhizome barrier next to the pond. So I think what we can learn today is plant bamboo responsibly, try not to be so one-sided because 
you know, when I read that, that magazine, it was just, or that book, I just put it down after that because I couldn't believe anything that I read in the book after that. So that's all I have about this uh, planting bamboo tip next to the pond. I do want to talk about another plant. So a lot of ornamental grasses could be potential danger for the pond liner. The, uh, a couple other rare instances I've seen liner get damaged by plants. I remember a sequoia tree, a redwood, a giant redwood. There was a, a waterfall planted next to a very small sequoia tree and about 10 years after we planted it, it started to have these little root systems come out and then I had um, a piece of the tree come right through the stream of a pond liner. I remember that once and I, a couple of times I've seen like a disappearing waterfall built next to a queen palm, which is really popular here in Southern California. A queen palm, small queen palm, and within five or six years, the palm tree's getting big. I've seen uh, queen palm roots come through the side of a liner as well. I've also seen date palm liner uh, come through liner. So uh, in, any plant that you plant, you should take some precaution. If it's a big, aggressive tree, it'd be good to think about putting down some rhizome barrier. So that's all I have for you today. I wanna know, are you afraid of bamboo? I always tell people, if it really was gonna take over the world, it would have done so already, but it hasn't done it yet, and I'm gonna to continue to promote it and to tell you to plant it responsibly. So put down in, your, in, the, in the comment section below whether you like bamboo or not. Give me the good, the bad, and the ugly. I wanna hear about it. Until next time, I'm Eric Triplett, The Pondigger. If you want your questions answered on the show, put hashtag AskThePondigger and share it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I'll do my best to get it answered right here on the show. Thanks for watching.